Is this loud? Okay, here we are. Hello everyone, good morning. My name is Jeroen de Welter and I'm responsible for ecosystem development at Persistence. Before I start talking about the liquid staking hub that we are building with Persistence, I want to give a huge shout out to the organizers of the Cosmoverse event. It's been an incredible event, everyone is enjoying it massively. Come on, let's put our hands together for the Cosmoverse team! Nice. You know, believe it or not, but last year's Cosmoverse in Lisbon was actually my very first day with Persistence. It was my very first day in crypto, and I was overwhelmed. Who here is new in the industry? Can I see some hands? Who's new into the industry or into the Cosmos ecosystem? All right. Are you feeling overwhelmed? Yes? I must admit, I was super overwhelmed on my first day. First presentation I saw was Zaki talking about the future of interchain composability. Then there was Sunny talking about superfluid staking. And then there was my colleague Abitesh talking about liquid staking. And I was like, what is all of this? I was so confused. Now, that was less than one year ago. So now, one year later, I'm standing here in front of you. And it feels like I'm talking to a group of friends. That's the power of the Cosmos ecosystem. And I'm incredibly grateful to be a part of it. So, if you're new to the Cosmos ecosystem and you feel overwhelmed, don't be. It's all going to be fine. The ecosystem is super welcoming and we're all here to help and contribute. Now, I bet you guys are here to learn more about persistence and P-stake. Maybe you want to learn some more about liquid staking. Maybe you want to hear the latest alpha on STK Atom. Or maybe you're here for the drama and the liquid staking war. Now, I'll have to disappoint you because that's exactly what I'm not going to talk about today. If you want to listen about or you want to hear about these things, you can look it up, website, Twitter, YouTube interviews we've done, it's all there, or most of it at least. Today, I'm going to talk about something completely different. It's something we haven't talked about before. It's what makes us different at Persistence. It's what motivates us. It's what drives us. It's what wakes us up in the morning and what keeps us awake at night. I'll bring you the story of humility, integrity, patience, and persistence. Do you know what all big successful companies in the world have in common? There's three things. They're very good at three things. Firstly, community. Second, technology. And third, execution. Think about it. Any big successful company in the world is good at these three things, community, technology, and execution. Think about Apple without community. Think about Tesla or Google without technology. Think about Amazon without execution. These companies wouldn't be there where they are today if it wasn't for this. They know that if you build a team that knows community, technology, and execution, you can do everything you want. And that's exactly what we've been doing at Persistence. We've been building a team, 35 people strong now, spread across the world, different in locations, all building towards understanding these three things. And we do it with, one, with four core values in mind. Humility, integrity, patience, and persistence. I say humility because sometimes we fail, often we fail, but it's never the goal, but we love to fail actually. We love to fail because it makes us learn. We learn from these things because we improve. We can build a stronger community, we can build better technology, and we can get more flawless at execution. I say integrity because sometimes we make the wrong decisions, but we own up to them, and we promise to do better, and we fulfill on those promises. I say patience because we are in this for the long run. The long run, because that's what matters. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the power of compound interest, and it's the exact same thing when it comes to building an ecosystem. Small, small things we do today can have a huge impact down the line. 
And lastly, persistence, because that's what we do. We wake up in the morning, we go to work, day in, day out. We build, we ship, we iterate with persistence, keeping in mind that we're working towards three things, community, technology, and execution. Now, have we figured it all out yet? No, of course not. But we've learned a lot. We've come a long way. On the technology side, we're very grateful to be early in proof of stake and in the Cosmos ecosystem. With our validator and research arm, Audit1, we, we were one of the Genesis validators of the Cosmos hub, and we learned a lot. We also participated in plenty of test nets, and we helped to launch a couple of chains. On the community side, we launched Cosmos India. We hosted plenty of events. We've shared our knowledge, and we contributed to user education. But we wanted more. We wanted to bring real-world assets on chain, which is why we launched the Persistence Chain, to facilitate that. Now, this wasn't all smooth sailings, no. We ran into a lot of difficulties, and we actually even ended up pivoting. But we've learned so much. One of the main important learnings that we got was the stake drop campaign. As far as I know, it was the first airdrop targeted to stakers. We learned a lot from that, and we built a community of stakers along the way. Stakers who are now at the center of the persistence ecosystem. It's one of the reasons persistence has one of the highest staking ratios in the industry, standing about 80%, because we built a community of people who know staking. Another learning we had is that those stakers, they were looking for more yield. Who wouldn't? And that's how we thought of liquid staking. To make sure that you could stake your assets and get additional yield from using them in DeFi. That's how the idea of liquid staking came to us. And we knew we wanted to build something in that. But at that time, there was no IBC. There was no DEX. There was no DeFi in the Cosmos ecosystem. But we are persistent, so no problem. We did bring a solution, and instead, because there was no DeFi on the Cosmos, we brought liquid staking to an ecosystem where, where DeFi already existed, Ethereum. And you can say, one of your core values is persistence, so why didn't you wait? Why didn't you wait until these DeFi things were there? It's because we don't want to use patience as an excuse not to try, not to experiment with things. We want to keep on trying and learning because that's how we progress. So with persistence, we continued and we built liquid staking on Ethereum with a bridge and it worked. We brought interchain liquid staking about a year ago, but we faced a lot of critique for doing so. People said it was too expensive. People said it was too complicated. People said it was insecure. And with a lot of humility, we accepted those critiques and we worked towards solutions. We provided by economy gasless, so you could trade gasless on Ethereum for free. It was complicated, but we spent hours and hours, days on user education, guiding them through the complicated processes we created. And on the security side, we made sure things were secure. We had multiple audits, because that's something we'll never compromise on. With that, we managed to build up up to 40 million in TVL. We brought more than 6,000 users into liquid staking for the first time, and we didn't get hacked. Now, don't want to dwell too much on the past, but we learned so much from this. We learned how to build TVL. We learned how to attract users. We learned about security. We even learned how to integrate. At peak times, we were integrated with one of the bigger protocols in the space at that time, Anchor and Terra. But there again, we faced some, some um, issues, some adversity. But we learned from it, and we continued. Now, don't want to dwell on the past too much. And let's look at the future. Now that so many chains have IBC enabled, with all the beautiful things that are coming out of the Cosmos Hub, such as interchain accounts, interchain queries, what do you think a team that knows 
community, technology, and execution can achieve. I'll tell you, we can continue to build on our vision towards becoming a true liquid staking hub and making liquid staking the backbone of a fixed income market that we are creating in crypto. How do we do this? For starters, we'll bring SDK Atom home to the persistence chain, where together with SDK XPRT, our native token, in a liquid form, we'll make it the core building block of more DeFi use cases. Later on, PSTEC will also bring other assets, SDK Osmo, SDK Gino, things like that can easily be brought with PSTEC. And we wouldn't be a true liquid staking hub if we were not looking at other big proof of stake networks. It's why we've built SDK ETH, SDK BNB, both of these products are live. And we have SDK Sol and SDK AVAX in the pipeline. Now, these assets are maybe not our core because our true core, that's the Cosmos side. But we started to learn these assets and we're patient. We're patient, we're learning these assets in their ecosystems. And when the time is right and when the technology is there, we'll connect the ecosystems to the one we are working in, the Cosmos. To do so, we already partnered with Axelar and we're starting to explore a lot of cross-chain opportunities. With Axelar, cross-chain messaging becomes, becomes possible. Sending assets or staked assets cross-chain, possible. Think about executing a transaction on the persistence chain initiated from an EVM chain, possible. All of these things will allow us to build things with such a smooth user experience that a user will not even have to know which chain he is using. He wouldn't even have to know he is using a chain. That's how easy it should be. And all of these things are made possible with that first partnership with Axelar. We also recently enabled Cosmosm so that we can have developers come in and build on top of the persistence chain. With Cosmosm, developers can now deploy smart contracts um, on top of persistence and you can call the liquid staking functions from PStake. Think about it, it's incredibly powerful what you can do with that. We know that our documentation is not top notch yet, but we are working on that. And we are incredibly grateful to work together with the Cosmosm team on things like this. We also recently enabled Cosmovisor to facilitate the upgrade process for further chain upgrades. Now, the last chain upgrade, we had a bit of an issue, and we failed. There was an issue, and we had to halt the chain for a bit. But we had the humility to reach out to our validators to come and help us to solve the problem. We had the persistence to stay awake and to find the issue. We didn't go to sleep until we found a bug and we fixed it. That's the persistence that we have. We also have a test net working. So we cleaned up our repos as well to make it easier, to make a better developer experience possible. We have dev nets available for devs who want to come in and try and build things in the persistence ecosystem. All these things, we're really trying to enhance developer experience and documentation. Doc <laughs> documentation is one of these things that we'll be working on. Lastly, we also have taken further steps towards further decentralization. We have increased our validator set from 75 to 100. We've put in place a new foundation delegation program aim, aiming to help smaller validators to get into the active set. We're also committed to spinning down our foundation nodes and we started thinking about creating DAOs and sub-DAOs to put more power in the hands of our community. Now, with all these building blocks, I'm confident that with persistence, we're truly set up to do amazing things and build the liquid staking hub that we want to build. All these building blocks are there. The technology is there. The community is here. And the execution, we started on it already. With some very promising teams, we started to build on an interchain DEX focused on liquid staked assets. There's another, another team that started building on money markets on top of persistence. 
money markets focused around liquid staked assets so you can use them as collateral. These things are just the beginning because once you have those, you can start thinking a lot about so many other DeFi primitives. You can think about leveraged liquid staking, liquid yield farming, and there's plenty of other things to be built, options, perpetuals, yield strategies, and so on. As you can see, there are many things to be built, but we can't all build it alone. We don't want to build it alone. We want to build it with you. We have bounties, we have grants, and we have delegations to support. If you're interested, if you're passionate about DeFi, if you're passionate about fixed income like we are, and you want to build it on top of crypto on the backing, with the backing of liquid staked assets, come join us. Come find us. We'll be at the Persistence Lounge most of the day. It's just upstairs. We have great coffee. Tonight, we'll have a happy hour with some beers. Come find us. Come talk to us. And come join us. All you need are four core values. Humility, integrity, patience, and persistence. Thank you very much.